What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, everybody continues to contact me, and they're telling me that, uh, and or asking me if the most highly anticipated biggest fight in the sport of boxing, the undisputed welterweight showdown between undefeated, newly crowned, three belt, unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one best pound for pound fight in the world. And Earl the Truth Spence Jr. who has 28 wins, no loss, no draw. 22 big wins by way of knockout. 32 years of age, five for nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. And his would be opponent in undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO World Boxing Organization welterweight world champion who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 38 wins, no losses, no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. With that said, this makes for the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. Um, and so everybody's contacting me, reaching out and they're saying that the fight is done. Um, because they saw um, uh, a few channels and platforms um, stating that uh, the betting site, the, the betting sites, and uh, the odds have been placed out with a date on them. FanDuel, uh, you know, um, and a plethora of other betting sites have been uh, targeting the date of October 29th. Now, October 29th is one of the dates that. They would love to stage the fight on. It's a possibility. But as of right now, it's not done. And yes, the websites, the betting sites, you know, uh, FanDuel and, you know, uh, there's a few others that are, you know, um, that you could look at. And these betting sites, they have uh, Terrence Crawford versus, Octo uh, versus Errol Spence, October 29th. And they have uh, Terrence Crawford as a slight uh, betting favorite over uh, Errol Spence Jr., and so uh, many people are taking this, they're running with it, and they're saying it's done, it's been announced, so on and so forth. Well, I have to show you guys and uh, be the one, don't like to be the bearer of bad news, but the truth is, that's not true. You also have uh, uh, Bovada uh, is another betting site. You know, uh, they also had, you know, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, October 29th. Like I said, that's a possible date for the fight that's a date that they would love to have the fight on uh there's a few dates that they look looking to have the fight on and secure venues and things of that nature um and uh have the fight i know i saw um the brother aki tv uh he you know um he did a a video about it and he was talking about the betting sites that's one of the um platforms in which uh somebody sent me and they told me that it was done but if you listen to what Aki TV stated at the end, uh, this does not mean the fight is done, okay? Uh, if you listen to it, the video and uh, the upload in its entirety, he says at the end, this does not mean it's done. Uh, he stated that it's a possibility that they have secured a venue. Um, well, that is subject to change as well. And that's um, a possibility as to why these betting sites uh, have the fight up. But just a disclaimer, let me show you guys that uh, why this is, you know, the betting sites just, obviously they have inside information. Obviously they're aware that there's negotiations and the fight is more than likely going to happen. Uh, obviously, like I told you guys, it's like a wedding, right? It's like planning a wedding. It's not as easy as people think. People think that Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence sit down, they shake hands, they sign a contract, they agree to fight. Uh, they get up and the fight is announced. That's not how it works, okay? Uh, you have to have proof of funds. You have to have the venue uh, secured. The venues are not um, solely dependent upon boxing. Venues have other events that are taking place, uh, whether it be uh, plays, whether it be uh, music. Uh, you know, there's a plethora of other different uh, avenues of, of uh, entertainment that these venues that you don't normally pay attention to, like the MGM and the T-Mobile. They have events and other things, concerts and uh, tours that are taking place at their venues. 
you don't you don't pay much credence to because if it's not the sport of boxing, you don't care what goes on there, right? But they have to make their money back, okay? Uh, and so you you know they're not concerned with it being a boxing match or being a concert, right? They don't care as long as the venue can secure their money, they could care less which event is being held on a specific date. So there's a lot to go and to be desired when you're trying to secure and make a fight. Um, but if you just look at uh, Bovada, okay? Um, and shout out to my brother, Tay Jones. Go subscribe to my brother, Tay Jones, because he has sent me this. I'm not big on uh, the, the betting sites. I'm not big on, you know, uh, um, betting at all. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know much about it. I don't know much about the lines and things of that nature. Uh, I know straight up, I would say, Listen, I feel like this fight is going to beat fighter. Fighter A is going to beat fighter B. And, uh, you know, uh, that's just how I go about it. As far as the spreads and all that, I don't know nothing about the lines or nothing. Uh, so my brother Tay Jones, shout out to my brother Tay Jones, Pac-Man ATL Tay. He keeps me updated. He keeps me in the loop of how this works. And so he sent me some information regarding uh, people saying that these, these sites have up, uh, uh, that the fights are going to happen. Well, the fight is going to happen October 29th. And uh, if you look at this line, right, for Bovada, they have um, Francis Ngannou fighting Tyson Fury um, December 31st of 2022. Now, we know that didn't happen, right? And they had uh, um, Tyson Fury minus nine, 900 and Ngannou plus 550, right? Ngannou is the UFC heavyweight uh, superstar. And obviously we know who Tyson Fury is, the heavyweight champion. Uh, they also have December 31st, 2022, another fight in which they have Tyson Fury involved in against his fellow countrymen, two-time unified heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Anthony Joshua. And they have Tyson Fury plus 285, uh, Anthony Joshua plus 285, Tyson Fury minus 400, okay? Uh, then also on that very same day, they have Tommy Fury fighting Jake Paul, uh, and they have Jake Paul, uh, um, plus one, plus 1200, no, plus 120, and they have, uh, uh, Tommy Fury minus 150, okay? So, uh, like my brother Tay Jones told me, they're guesstimating. So, obviously, with this, the biggest fight in the sport of boxing right now, is Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. That makes for the biggest, the absolutely biggest fight in the sport of boxing. And so everybody's trying to get a jump on it, period. And uh, because these websites have, you know, uh, the fights uh, um, available and they're giving you dates, October 29th, and everybody's getting excited that, oh, October 29th. Now it's a possibility that the fight can happen October 29th. The strong possibility can but as far as these betting sites, uh, knowing and having the dates and they being right and exact, and you can go off and start booking tickets and planning in Las Vegas. No, you cannot go for that. That's not the case, okay? Uh, and uh, I hope that's the case. I, I, I wish this, this to be the case. You know, um, I will be overly joyed if it's October 29th. I, heck, I'd be overly joyed if it's uh, um, any day. I just want to see the biggest fight in the sport of boxing, hands down, period. I don't care what date it is. The sooner, the better. But as long as it gets done, that's all I'm concerned with. But again, uh, to you know, debunk the notion that this betting sites have the exact date and the fight is going to take place October 29th, well, that's a date that they're looking at. That's a date they would love to secure. But again, a lot of other things factor in them securing that date. And so with that said, we don't know what's going to happen when the date is gonna happen. There's also October 22nd is a date that they're targeting. There's also the first weekend in November, right? Uh, and they wanna get it done. Okay, the powers that be. Showtime president of sports, Steven Espinosa, the PBC premier Boston champion, founder and advisor, Al Heyman. Uh, Errol Spence, he wants to get it done. I'm sure Terrence Crawford want to get it done. Everybody wants to get it done. Uh, now, the thing is, like I told you guys, uh, there's a lot to be done. There's a lot of securing venues and things of that nature. So everybody wants to get it done. 
uh, and they would like to have it sooner rather than later. And the reason being for that is that they have another mega fight uh, around the same time. And that's um, newly crowned undef undisputed junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Jamel Lyons only Charlo, uh, um, defending his undisputed titles against um, Australian superstar boxer, Tim Zhu. So based off of what date Errol Spence and Terence Crawford fight, Tim Zhu and uh, Jamel Charlo will be you know, basing their fight off of that day. So they're waiting for that fight to be announced so that they can announce their fight and their fight date and secure their venue. So obviously they wait for the first domino piece to fall so they can uh, proceed with that fight as well, okay? Um, so this fight holds up a lot of fights, right? Uh, what's gonna be next for Jerome Boots Ennis? What date is he gonna fight? Uh, now I know uh, I've been told that uh, um, and a few other people has been told that October is a ring return date for Jerron Boutinis. Uh Looks like he could be possibly facing Stanley Onis as former unified welterweight world champion superstar boxer Keith One Tom Thurman simply has no interest in uh, agreeing to fight Jerron Boutinis. So we have to see how this unfolds and plays out. But they're working for obviously the biggest domino chip to fall in place and that's Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. And so they can get to announcing other fights. We already heading into the July already. So uh, time is a ticking. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.